Um, now, I come from, uh, from an insurance broker, um, Willis. We're obviously categorised in many ways in, uh, in the financial um, sector. Um, my background um, and a lot of my experiences of um, interviewing, I mean, obviously I have views on my own company and the leadership of my own company, but I've, um, I've run um, the teams that have um, investigated and assessed companies that we do business with, our trading partners. Um, so I thought I would share some experiences from that perspective. And, you know, the insurance business, like so many um, financial institutions uh, and so many other businesses, is it's a people business. Um, in, in EC3, you know, our brokers walk in and out of Lloyd's on an hourly basis, bringing clients in from all over the world. Um, and they live and die by their integrity um, and the reputation in the market. Um, you know, code of ethics has been long part of, um, you know, pre-financial crisis, part of the makeup of the insurance business. But that doesn't mean to say that we haven't had failures um, in the insurance business, um, that um, things have gone wrong um, for both corporate um, and for from management um, perspectives. Um, so. In thinking about how you assess that from the outside, um, I was thinking very much along the lines that um, it's, it's, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit like judging um, a company um, as, a, as a jigsaw. When you think about the individual pieces of, of uh, information that you, you, uh, you see about a company and about how it's run and how a company's um, leadership behaves, um, and their reputation, and whether they're, you're trying to get to a point of, is this the sort of company you want to do business with? Is it the sort of company for us that we want to put our clients with? Um, and that's not about the, the balance sheet um, part of it. Um, it's, it's about uh, making sure that we've um, pieced together information um, of all sorts of um, factors about whether that company um, can run itself going forward in the best way to service its clients. And the leadership that goes with that is absolutely core to the success of a, of a company. Um, and there will always be failures of, of companies um, unable to you know, support uh, their clients. Um, but actually, the ones that we feel embarrassed about or disappointed about um, as, a, as an industry is where there has been a fundamental um, uh, breakdown at the uh, at leadership level. And you can tell that because uh, it's about really sort of holding up that is this transparency aspect that, uh, that you talked about, um, about a team, making sure that um, you can um, see that um, the company and its, um, and its way of doing business actually translates onto the trading floor. Um, so if a company says that it's going to um, you know, uh, write business in a very competitive um, uh, uh, way in a particular sector of the, of the world, um, that it's not doing something completely different. Because that marks to a company that's leadership is not controlling, um, is not actually um, driving forward the business um, that, it's, uh, that it's committed to in, in public terms. And I think you can hold out your um, you know, hold up a mirror to, to see some of uh, some of that. So, as an outsider, you can you can judge the the culture um, of a of a company, but you can also um, and you can judge it by what you see on the trading floor. And I think that's where in the marketplace we have a, an advantage over um, regulators, um, rating agencies. Um, uh, uh, stock market analysts, all these people who have got lots and lots of data um, and sometimes very much inside view, but we can, we can add a market perspective to really sort of balance out whether uh, the leadership of a company is, is driving its business in the right way um, you know, to, uh, to support the, the market. Both my, um, my colleagues here have spoken about, uh, about team approach to, to leadership. Um, but it's, it's, the, it's the willingness to, um, to listen to those around you. Yes, to lead, but also to have the, um, to, to be listening to the, to the experts that you employ. We expect our, our, our bosses to employ good people, but we also expect them to listen to us with the, uh, with the, the knowledge. And that type of leadership, the open, the open door transparency is absolutely critical.